Today we're taking on how to shape the ball down there. So you've got the draw and the fade. So the draw is a right to left shot and the fade is left to right. So it's something that's great to have in the bag to call upon when needed. So I'll just I'll talk you through it. Same as any other goal shot, the setup is the key to, to the shot. And then it's having in your head that you are trying to hit that shape of shot. So if you've played any other sport, then then refer back to that. So if, you, if you're trying to hit that right to left, have in your head that you are trying to hit that right to left. Change that mentality of what you're trying to do. Don't stand there with the same thought that you're trying to hit the shots, shots to your normal stock shot at the target. You're trying to now shape the ball, which will definitely help with putting that into action. Right then, first of all, we're going to do the draw shot. Okay, now we're taking on that draw shot. So that's our right to left shot. Quite simple with this setup, you keep the club face pointing at the target, that's where you want the ball to finish. Where you want the ball to start is where the bodies are lined up to. So that's your feet, hips and shoulders aligned to the right of the target. So that sends that ball out to the right and the club face then spins it back to the target. The club face will look close in relation to your body, so it looks slightly different at dress to normal. So stay confident with that, keep it in that position, so that will, otherwise it will, it will kill the shot if you change that position of that club face. Be committed to it, mentally have in your head that you're trying to hit that right to left shot, that will definitely help. Say so committed to it, right, let's take it on, shall we? So, club face pointing at the target, feet closed in relation to that, swing along that body line and drive through. Boom, happy days. So we've got that right to left, got over that tree, curled it round onto that green, and now we've got a little putt for a bird dog. Happy days. It's definitely worth taking on. It's a great thing to have in your bag, so you can call upon it, take that shot on. Great bit of fun, you are supposed to be having fun. Right then, let's go to the fade shot, shall we? Right then, now's the time to take on the fade shot, which is our left to right shot. It's pretty straightforward. Keep the club face still pointing at that target, like I said before. Every time you always keep the club pointing to where you want the ball to finish. This time you, uh, the feet and hips and shoulders are in the opposite position, so now they're aiming to the left, where the draw would aim to the right. You would just experiment a little bit in regards to how much you open the stance or close the stance. That would exaggerate with how much spin you put on the shot. So to begin with, if the target say 12 o'clock on your clock face, you want to be aiming your, your feet, hips and shoulders say 11 o'clock at the most 10 o'clock, just, just get the feel for it, have a bit of a practice and see how much that, that ball shapes down there. Just remember, club face, always stay square at that target, it will look different when you're looking down on it, it will look open in relation to your body on this one and close in relation to your body on the, on the draw shot. So keep an eye that you don't adjust that club face back to your feet. Right then, we've missed the fairway, which is whew, only happens occasionally obviously. Now we've got a tree in the way, we're going to try and cut round that tree, maybe go over the top slightly and then cut it onto that green so we've got a nice soft landing. This shot will definitely go shorter compared to the draw shot. The draw shot I hit earlier was about 160 yards, this will probably be roughly about 130, so there is a significant difference in distance. So when you're selecting that club, definitely take that into account. Right then, let's give it a go. So club at the target, feet open, hips and shoulders, Swing along that body line and let that club do the work. <laughs> well, you make your own luck in this game, don't you? So that was quite uh, close to the tree. Apparently, trees are 90% air. We've got the shape from the shot, took it on, and got a great result. So, happy days. And it's definitely worth putting those those two shots in the bag. So it's, uh, like I said, it's a good bit of fun. You are trying to enjoy yourself. It's a good shot to try and take on. And it's something to, that could rescue the shot. You could use it in when you're windy conditions, if you're trying to punch out the trees, or you just fancy trying to shape the ball down there. Definitely worth having in the bag. So when you need it, you can pull it out and, and get stuck in. Any questions or comments, send them through. Give us a good thumbs up. Remember to press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.